Santa Clarita, and welcome to your hometown station, AM 1220 KHTS. It's a Gazette Radio. Hey, Doug, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hang on. Hang what? On, hang on. what? Um, uh, John, I'd, I'd like, I'm, I'm bringing in the show. I'd like to bring in the show. No, I bring in the show. I know. We've always done it that way, but I think it's my turn. Now, wait a minute. We no, don't take turns. I bring us in. I, you look, bring us out. You've been doing that. You've been doing it that. We've been doing it that way all along. Your point? And I think, I think it's 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 time for a change. I mean, why can't I bring why the show? Change hey, it's why change something? Hey, it's the with Doug and John on AM twelve twenty K. Why Center, change Central something that's successful? But, but it's worked just fine for all these years. But but I think it's time for a change, don't you? I mean, shake things up. New ideas. New new new. New criteria, new new blood, new thought process. You know. Oh, you mean? What well, do you want to be the mayor too? Well, I'm not talking about the selection of the mayor or the election of the mayor. I'm talking about the the the, the bringing in the show. Uh, I'm not talking about it. I'm talking about the mayor. What about the mayor? <laughs> That's what you remind me of. Why is that? Because they all want to take turns being the mayor. They just want to change it. What's wrong? Why That's don't okay. we elect the guy or the girl? The person. The person. We, I guess we could elect the person. What do you mean? We don't what do the majority person? of cities in the United States do? They have an election. People run for you, mayor. You they mean, elect them. They can't go any, meeny, miny, mo. Yeah. Well, we, and wait they can't minute. take turns. But we've always done it this it's way. It's like first take, grade. Let's have, take turns. You have a problem against taking turns, yes. don't you? You really do. I think it's ridiculous. Oh, you know, well, Doug, I don't think I think that's wrong. I, I, I would I would like to speak now if it's my turn. Okay. Wow, but see, you just took turns. <laughs> You're a hypocrite. That's different. How is that That's different? That's polite. I'm letting you speak instead what of talking it, over it, you like it, I always do. Yeah, there is that. But isn't being a mayor just polite? What are you talking about? Does it really have any power? Does it really matter? No, not the You're way the si- government's set up. No, the city manager has all the power. Thank you. I don't like that either. I didn't vote for the city manager, did you? No. And who calls the shots in this city? I'm guessing the city manager. Yeah. Whoa, amazing how I picked that so up. So if you are the mayor, what what does that mean? You just run the meeting, you get the gavel? What's the big deal? I think you run the meeting, you get the gavel, and you get to ride first in the car. Okay. Well, if it's not a big deal, then why are they not letting one of the councilmen be mayor? Why can't he well, get a how turn? how do you know that? Uh, look, Doug, I did not bring up the whole mayor thing to torture you, okay? I torture? Not... That's another thing. you got to be kidding me on the CIA what torture are you thing. About? Oh, jeez. Come really? on. We're going there? You just put your hands up like, don't shoot, bro. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Really? Don't tease me. Oh, that rem- I got a. <laughs> okay, got something e- funny is coming. I got an email that, with a picture from Ferguson that said, "Pants up, don't loot." <laughs> get oh, it? Pants, geez, up. pants up, don't loot. Yeah. I get that, but no. Yeah. So what about the torture thing? It's not that big a deal. You think it's a big deal? I think it's huge. I think they. I don't want to say what I think they should do to those guys. But wait a minute. Did you see what John McCain said on the Senate floor? I know what John McCain said, and I was, and I was surprised. And really, you're surprised. He was a POW. Yeah, I know, and he was tortured. I agree. Uh, so you don't think it stains? Look. Oh, oh. stain. Don't. Who, you know, who should be stained? The, the freaking people that. That flew the airplane into the tower. They're stained. The one that cuts people's heads off and sends the video around the world. Okay. They're stained. All right, we're going to take a short break as we push the vein back into Doug's head. you got to no. be kidding me. But wait a minute. Aren't we supposed to be better than that? Oh, yeah, let's don't talk to them. Let's don't slap them. Let's don't put some water in their face. We're going to feed they them. They could only, sure. maybe what they could tell us could save lives. Saved heads getting cut off. But that's no. We, maybe we should we're torture the nice. mayor. <laughs> yeah. Can we Why'd you get me started on this? We're, I was bringing the show in. We're doing it normal. We're going to have a nice conversation. Well, because it was you my just tur- raised my ire. Because it was my turn. I didn't raise anything. Thank you very much. Um, all I wanted to do was just have a turn to say, you're listening to Gazette Radio Hour with Doug and John on AM 1220 yeah. KHS Santa Clara's hometown station. Okay, do you think it's a good idea to have the mayors it's, take turns? It's everything you need to know to be in the know. That's all I wanted to do, Doug. It's all I wanted to do. I okay, know. and look what happened as a result. Of I know that. you tried I know. to change things and look what unintended happened. consequences. That's why you don't change. You stay the course. Why change the? Why change a horse in midstream? <laughs> that should have been Obama's <laughs> election campaign. Don't change a horse in midstream. But isn't it? No, you really think that the that the mayor thing matters that much? Not the way the current government's that the way it's set up. No, we'd have to become a charter city and uh, have district representation, which we're getting sued anyway to do. So isn't so then the mayor is going to be short term? <laughs> so it doesn't matter who the mayor is. I, I mean, I don't understand. No, I just think it should be I, you vote for somebody that represents your area of the town. You know, but, and 
because I want a guy that's going to come in and go, and he wants are me we, to vote for him, and he's going to get the medians built on the White's Canyon. Aren't going we too towards, big for? Aren't we too small for that still? I don't think so. We're almost two hundred thousand people. Yeah, but isn't that too small? When I grew up in Tucson, Arizona, it was three hundred thousand. We had real city councilmen, and we elected our mayor. Yeah, that's a little different. That's another hundred thousand people. We're not there yet. I We're not that big. We I don't, don't have agree. that much. I mean, I don't know what the operating budget is. Are we just asking for more bureaucracy? You, no, of all I people, think we're hey, at, no. let's ask for more government, no, bigger government. No, it's rep proper represent representation. Irina, Easy so for like, me to say. Let's throw some tea in the Santa Cruz River. <laughs> we'll have a tea party. Oh, speaking of oh, that, I just that tea party. budget, did you see John Boehner <laughs> is a... Traitor, John Boehner is a. He, I will take he's us not out. A Republican. I'll take us he out. Is not a Republican. I'll take us out because obviously I do it better than Doug. You're listening we need to a new Radio Speaker of the House. John and Doug on AM twelve twenty. Notice how it was John and Doug because you were talking. <laughs> <laughs> we need the Gazette Radio with John and Doug on AM twelve twenty KHDS Santa Cruz hometown station. We're taking turns. All right, I don't know how long you can hold on, and we won't make you wait. And um, what am I supposed to say now, Doug? Oh yeah, that's the Gazette Radio Hour with John and Doug on AM twelve twenty KHDS. I figure we're gonna take turns with the name too. Santa Cruz is hometown station, AM right. 1220. You happy, you big baby? Wow, you really don't like to take turns, do you? <laughs> All right, I, I, this mayor thing that you were ranting about and, and causing your veins to pop out got me thinking we should have one of our local political experts on okay. uh, to talk about it. You know who we called? Friend of the show? A friend of the show. Okay. You know who it is? No, tell me. No, you're supposed to bring him in. We've talked about this. Oh, is it Alan Ferdman? It is Alan Ferdman. Oh, that's right. Who's the chairman of the Canyon Country Advisory, Advisory. Council Committee? Committee. Oh, jeez. And, and, and <laughs> Alan, we practice this off the air too, and it's you can't. I know, I you, know, you it's, it's, but you did pretty good. You can't teach an old dog new tricks. <laughs> and I, we just leave it at that. <laughs> I can't even find my notes where I wrote it down. <laughs> so, all right. So this mayor thing, big she deal, is. or is is he making like a big massive? Is Doug making a big massive mess of this whole thing? Well, I, I think that it's a big deal about the mayor thing is that. You know, currently, we, we don't have an elected mayor, and every one of our council members have been elected by the public. None of all of them should should be uh, equal in the uh, in the council. They get an equal vote. And so since the mayor's job is um, supposedly ceremonial, I would think that it would be uh, more appropriate if we had a rotation and that each individual council member got an opportunity to serve as mayor. Okay. Is there any... Upward or any, any benefit, anything great about being the mayor, other than you? I guess you get to drive in the car first in the Fourth of July parade. <laughs> you know, I, well, yeah, you get that, and and, and typically, whenever there's uh, something to represent the city, then the mayor is the one that does it. So, okay. um, and and you know, when when you uh, if you send a, a letter in or an email into the city council. Um, you can expect that the reply Response will come from the mayor. From the mayor. But they, it's not like they set the agenda, which would be a very powerful thing for somebody to do, right? Correct. Okay, they don't set the city council agendas. That's done by somebody else. They don't have a, a larger budget than the other city councilmen for their office. They, I mean, they get a nicer office? Maybe. That's it. No. Okay, no, they, so it's all the they same. Get their same office. Same office. They don't get a bigger they get, staff. They get No, they, they get the exact same, no staff that the rest of the council members do. I won't ask about health care because that's a whole big other issue that we will have to well, bring that's, up. Well, that's a different question. We'll talk about <laughs> that, too. But, uh, you know, the only thing they get is that center seat up at the dais when, the, yeah. when they assume the mayor. Well, Alan, my contention is that I want the city to be run by somebody that I, we elect. Because am I accurate in saying that the city manager actually runs this city? Would that be an accurate statement? Well, a city manager, just just like a uh, you know a chief operating officer in a corporation, is supposed to be um, running the day to day business of the city in accordance with the policy set by the council. And then the council is supposed to oversee the the operations of the city. And if, if things are going well, then they say the city manager is doing a good job. And if they believe they're not, then they have the opportunity to select a different city manager. Well, let me ask you this: the city of Los Angeles. Mayor Garcetti. They they have a city manager and they have an elected mayor. Who runs the show there? Well, I, I would think that the that the uh, the city manager still is looking at the day to day operations, but they're much more accountable to the elected mayor. So I, I'm sure the elected mayor provides much more clear, concise direction, and um, uh, then it's uh, the um, uh, the uh, uh, city manager is obligated to follow it. So it's, I think they have a little tighter of a, 
of, a, of, a, of, an, of an organizational structure than we have here in Santa Clarita. So, if I'm getting this right, uh, you're, in f- you're, you're probably in favor of district voting and an elected mayor. That's correct. Yeah, I, I think the closer you can bring the, uh, the you can bring city officials to the public, the better off you are. So if in fact you you um, uh, elect by district and you you then have a a much a closer relationship between a particular council person and your community, and if you elect a mayor, then making the mayor responsible to the community as well at large as well. Um, I believe that's the better way to do it. Doesn't that just add another layer of bureaucracy and another layer and more government? I don't think it lays another layer of bureaucracy. I think it makes uh, puts in another layer of accountability. Currently, what happens right now is if the if the city council uh, decides to kind of just let the manager go and do whatever they want, uh, whatever he wants, and and don't do their job in in setting policy and holding the city manager accountable. It's far more difficult to to uh, to make any dent in that in that kind of a situation as it would be if you 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 elected people for specific roles. You know, Alan, what got me thinking about this, and I actually ranted about it in my column, was the message December's message. Actually, it was the year end message that came out from the current mayor, Lorraine West, and the city manager Kent Striplin, and they listed all the highlights of the year and. I think there was eight highlights for the uh, west side of town and two or three for the east side. And that just got me to thinking, I would like somebody to run and for, you know, be creative in their candidacy and say, hey, this is what I'm going to do for your side of town because I live here, I work here, whatever. You know, and talk about things like the median that's supposed to go a White's Canyon towards Canyon High and uh, more beautification of Soledad. Maybe we could have a winter wonderland over here on this side of town, that sort of thing. That's what got me thinking about going to a charter city uh, type of government. Well, I think you're absolutely right. And I think part of what you're, you're discussing is the fact that right now, you have a, a group of council members who have decided that they are going to make decisions for the city, and because um, they can, uh, in in the way that uh, the council is organized, uh, they put uh, the effort where they believe it should be. Now, in the last election, we, we hammered them on the Canyon Country Community Center, and we hammered them on the fact that nothing had happened in Saugus, and we hammered them on the Senior Center. And so uh, I think uh, one of the reasons why you're seeing those three items being discussed right now is because they want to um, eliminate those as election issues in the upcoming election. You might be right. All right, well, thanks, Alan. We're up against a break. Thank you for the clarification. That made it a a little bit easier. Uh, See, Doug, it wasn't torture either. Oh, don't go Uh, there. Alan Alan Ferdman from the... Go ahead, say it, Alan, so we can get it right. I'll say it with you. He's the chairman of the Canyon uh, Country Advisory... Committee. 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 See, I was waiting for it. I got it right. Maybe Doug will learn one day. Someday. Okay. All right. Thanks, Alan. We'll talk to you soon. All right. You're listening to Gazette Radio Hour with Doug and John. Wow, I said it right that time. On AM 1220 KHS Santa Cruz, hometown station. We'll be back.